Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory, built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, 919 All Fours. Hello again and welcome to the Carolina Insider. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and we have a busy show coming your way today. First, we'll talk a little Tar Heel football. Man, the Heels stood toe to toe with Notre Dame, but eventually the physicality and the experience for the number two ranked team in the country wore down the Tar Heels. And Friday afternoon in Keenan Stadium, it was Notre Dame coming away with the 31-17 win. We have highlights of that game, post-game reaction as well. Of course, a couple days before that, before the Thanksgiving holiday, the Tar Heels tipped off the 2020-2021 basketball season with a win over College of Charleston in the Smith Center. We have some highlights of that victory, plus Adam Lucas will join me to break down the victory for Carolina as well. So a lot to do. So glad you're here. Let's start off with some first half highlights from Keenan Stadium in Carolina against Notre Dame. This will be a third and eight. The play clock almost runs out. Book just able to get the snap away. He's caught in the pocket, scrambling out, and finally goes down. Chaz Surratt able to drag down the Notre Dame quarterback back near the 10-yard line. Second and six. Heels will try and run with Carter. Pops through the near side, steps through a tackle at the 40. Carter, 30, 25, angles to the sideline, and is chopped down at the 20-yard line by Sean Crawford. Heels have it at the Notre Dame 17-yard line, second and seven. How play action, pressure in his face, trying to dance out of the pocket, keeping his feet, coming to the near side. Howell at the 10, Howell at the 5, stood up there and taken down at about the 4. There was heavy traffic in the pocket for Sam Howell. He was able to keep his feet, step through a tackle. First possession of the game for the Heels. Notre Dame had to punt on its initial possession. Howell immediately looks to the right, is hit hard as he throws, and it is caught! Touchdown, Carolina! What a grab by Emory Simmons in the back right corner for the score. Holy smokes, what a play by that young receiver. Carolina will start at the 25 on the far hash. Howe with a slow play action to Carter. Now he's going to dump it off on the near side to Daz Newsom. Makes a man miss. And now he's off to the races down the near sideline before being taken down from behind over the 40-yard line by Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa. Howe claps his hands. It's a drop back throw. Has time to do so, lets it go, and cradling it in Notre Dame territory. Between the numbers in the hash near side is Deami Brown as he brings it in at the Irish 47th. Howell is going to throw. Lets it go deep. Deami Brown is there, brings it in at the 5. Deami dragged down inside the 1. Boy, those two have done that a couple times, haven't they? First and goal at the one. How play action to Williams comes near side and pounds his way through a couple of Irish for the touchdown. Physical game so far for Sam Howe. He took a major shot on that deep ball to Deami Brown. Cayman Rucker, the freshman from Hartwell, Georgia. They came off the field after that last play. It's going to be a throw for Book. Again, he's five for five passing, but this time he doesn't get a chance to do so. Taken down from behind by Tamon Fox. The sack back to the 42, loses a pair. Hal is in at the shotgun. Claps his hands. He'll hit a quick screen to the near side and Newsom. Newsom shakes a tackle. He's over the 10, over the 15, and there you go with some breathing room. Third and really long. Quick screen out to Newsom on the far side. I tell you what, Newsom has some space and he has the first down as well. Great block out in front. Garrett Walston and Deami Brown were both out there. Javante Williams will be to Howell's left. Notre Dame rushes four quickly. Ooh, Josh Towns gets popped as he makes the catch. And here come multiple flags. That's going to be a targeting call as Howell was drilled in the helmet by Kyle Hamilton. 
Michael Carter exits the backfield. Howell will throw a quick screen to him on the far side. Carter crosses the 50, makes a man miss. Still on his feet. Goes down the far sideline and inside the 35. Michael Carter made Houston Griffith miss. Griffith comes into the game and has to try and tackle Carter in space. That's tough. 1.15 to go. Snap back, spot down. Atkins does kick it away. And it is good. Tar Heels have the lead, 17-14. Atkins with the 42-yarder. 2020 has been the year of the unthinkable. And millions of Americans are struggling to put food on the table. So Wells Fargo is helping our neighbors feed their loved ones, using some of our locations as drive-up food banks, and helping provide 50 million meals for Americans in need. The unthinkable has happened. Now it's time to rethink how to make a difference. Wells Fargo. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. It's Ford Truck Month. And if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck. Then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10765 in total savings. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game. Like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat. And like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team. And it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. So after 30 minutes in Keenan Stadium, the game was tied 17-17, Carolina and Notre Dame. Really a lot of offense in that first half. The second half was dominated by defense, and we'll get to some highlights of that in just a second. But Mac Brown, heading into the halftime locker room, was optimistic about his team's first half performance. We'll start with that, second half highlights, and some postgame reaction after that. We had awful field position in the second quarter. They did a we did a better job of getting a couple of stops on defense, but their punters put it at the three yard line twice. And then we've really hurt ourselves with penalties. A holding call would have gotten us down to about the 20 that that we messed up with. We've had a couple of defensive calls that, that we need to clean up. So, uh, but we punted the ball well enough to the other end. We're trying to fight field position. Hey. We're even with the number two team in the country, so have to give our kids a little credit. But I, I want to see them settle down and play. We're dropping balls, no penalties. Forget the environment. We haven't been here before and go play. Very odd. There should be no reason to lose your foot, footing on this turf. It's, it's totally dry, outstanding surface, good traction. So Carolina has to kick it away, and Kiernan rockets one down the field, hits at the 14, rolling inside the five. It will be down at the three. Tie game at 17. Irish keep it on the ground and nothing doing. As Tyrone Hopper with the first contact. 8.50 to go third quarter. Notre Dame chewing up some clock on its first drive of the second half. Game tied at 17. Book going to try one deep, dangerous throw and broken up. 
McMichael with a big collision between the numbers and the sideline near side. They're already inside the red zone after one play. Book rolling out, completes in the flat left side, but a good quick tackle by Gimmel. Dropping down Tommy Trimble, the Notre Dame tight end for no gain. Heels bring some pressure. They flush Book out, throws off his back foot, and it is well out of bounds, incomplete. As Surratt and Book ended up on the deck at the end of the play. Good pressure there from the heels, forced the veteran to throw it away and bring up third down. Big play here, and it's going to be a Book run. Steps through one tackle, but the contact by Tamari Fox, enough to trip Book up. And he does fall forward to the 14. Dorer made a 32-yarder at the end of the first half to give Notre Dame a 10-point lead. Carolina darn near blocked it, and he missed it. Missed it wide right. Grimes came flying in to bother the kick. There's no foul for running into the kicker. The defender was blocked into the kicker. Irish will have to snap it once more. They do so. Book takes the knee, and that will do it. A competitive game here in Chapel Hill, but Notre Dame's experience and physicality wins out in the end as the Irish improved to 9-0 on the year, stretched their winning streak to 15 games going back to last season, the longest in the FBS. And the Tar Heels will leave disappointed with the result. They've certainly taken some steps forward, but as today showed, still have some strides to go before they get ultimately where they want to be. We felt like we could run enough that we could protect better than we did, uh, but you, you can't rush for 87 yards and have six sacks and, and beat anybody, much less a really, really good football team. So um, give Notre Dame credit, they're, they're really, really good. Uh, when they stepped up in the second half on defense, they, they really stepped up. I was really, really proud of our defense uh, and our kicking game. That's by far the, most, uh, the best either one of them have done. Uh, our defense kept hanging in there and hanging in there, and our kicking game gave us great field position. Um, and our offense was really, really good the first half. I actually thought we'd win the game, and then Notre Dame just absolutely shut us down the second half. I'll let Phil tell you after he watches the video uh, with the offensive staff what happened. Um, you saw it. I saw it. Looked like they whipped us up front, and um, they, they got too much pressure on Sam, didn't have enough time to, to get the ball to the guys, and we knew that uh, – uh, we knew that was an issue. Yeah, unless we could run the ball well enough in this game, we knew that we couldn't protect well enough to get the ball downfield, and we had to throw the ball to win the game. We knew that. And uh, uh, give Notre Dame credit for, for getting that done. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team, and it never tasted this good. We can make that happen, definitely. This looks great. We'll bring it and have Getting through the morning meeting in one piece uh, feels good. Then realizing it's payday, that definitely feels good. All while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy? You're unstoppable. With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison and Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. 
time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash on the Built Ford Top F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Boy, it's a brand new team for Carolina basketball this season. The Tar Heels going through an extreme makeover in the offseason. Six scholarship freshmen, all of whom played on Wednesday night in the Smith Center in Carolina's win over College of Charleston. It was tight for the first 25 minutes or so, but then Carolina's size in particular took over as the heels dominated in the paint and on the glass. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from Carolina's 19 point win over College of Charleston. Gets a screen. He'll switch it. Baycott now guarding him and Baycott blocks the fall away jump shot attempt. He'll recover and get it to Caleb Love and then hands off to his fellow freshman Caleb Love in the backcourt. Love drives in left of the lane. His floater is good. Goodness gracious. That was pretty. Heels up six to two. Boy, Sharp looked like he had an opportunity for an alley-oop on the inbound. Carolina gets it in, down low to Baycott as it is, and he throws it down with two hands. Long inbounds going into the backcourt as R.J. Davis gets the steal. He'll attack, lay it in, and draw the foul. That's the kind of effort we've seen out of R.J. Davis in practice, and this time it translates into the game. You've just got a lot of size to cover up for each other. High post, Dayron Sharp goes up and through a defender but it's 10 of 14 cents, 32-26. Puff Johnson left alone for three, count it. We're gonna see a bunch of those from that young man with Walton Brooks and Baycott. And Love flashes in the passing lane, dives to the floor to get the steal. Ahead to Davis, to Walton, right back to Davis for the uncontested deuce. Boy, good hustle by three freshmen there. Love on the floor and then Davis and Walton to finish the fast break. Carolina. As Playtech carefully goes front court to Davis, goes up and under, the scoop won't go. Sharp's tip won't drop, but the big fella goes right back to it and lays it home. Turns, kicks it to Playtech, open three from the sideline is short. Garrison Brooks with the rebound, floats it out to Love. He'll try a triple, that one's good. It's really, you said it early on as you introduced them tonight in the starting lineup, it's interchangeable. Well, Kessler, the offensive rebound in the putback. As a floater in the lane, no good by the Cougars. Rebound out to Love. He's going to go front court in traffic and finish through it for Charleston. Inside it goes to Walker Kessler. Nice move on the right baseline. Soft touch for the two. Tar Heels improved to 1-0. and oh. It is their 99th season opening win in 111 tries. And for Roy Williams, he is now 17 and one at Carolina with 17 straight season opening victories. Final tally is 79-60. Tar Heels with the win. Opening statement, we're trying to make all the money we're losing on football and men's basketball tournament back by having four hour timeouts during the freaking game. I've never seen as long a timeouts. This is worse than the final four, but other than that, we got off to a great start. Uh, I liked what happened to our team when they came back early and took a one-point lead. Was that the 17-0, Steve? Yes, sir, that was got a bad crick in my neck for trying to figure out what to do during the timeouts. But uh, we had a 17-0 run at that point. Uh, I think Andrew Playtech had a block shot and, and uh, one steal and one deflection. I think Armando had a block shot during that time period. We weren't nearly as smooth offensively as I'd like for us to be. And, uh, uh, but during that stretch in that second half when it was a 17-0 run, I thought most of it uh, was fueled by our defensive play. And that's it, guys. First game, got to win. Get home quickly, get something to eat, and eat turkey tomorrow. We can make that happen, definitely. This looks great. We'll bring it and have Getting through the morning meeting in one piece uh, feels good. Then realizing it's payday. 
That definitely feels good. All while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy? You're unstoppable. With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash off the Built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including 1,000 trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. So Carolina improved to 1-0 and with that 19-point win over College of Charleston. And after the game, just like we will after every home game this year, Adam Lucas and I broke down the Tar Heel victory with what we're calling the Carolina Insider Rapid Reaction. So again, we're going to do this after every home game this year. You can look for it on Twitter, on Facebook, and all your other Go Heels social media outlets. So let's go back to that as Adam and I talked about Carolina's 19-point win. Certainly a unique night in the Smith Center with very limited fans, just family of the teams and staffs, the uh, the benches spread out, Coach Williams wearing a mask the entire game. I mean, things that we have become a little more accustomed to just because of the situation we're all in, but, but still different than, than anything we've experienced before. Just even in starting lineups, as the Tar Heels were introduced during starting lineups, you give air high fives rather than actual high fives as you walk out onto the Smith Center Court. It's just very different. No band, just canned band music. It just felt different in there. Hard to get a lot of momentum going, but I think as we've seen in football, as the players get more used to it, you'll see it become more cohesive and feel more familiar. All right, let's break this one down a little bit more. We like to call these our rapid reactions. Love that intro, Adam. All right, there are a lot of things that... Uh, felt important tonight for Carolina. And one thing I, that has been standing out, I think, during preseason in practice, Adam, is the difference in the depth that this team has compared to last year's team for the Tar Heels. And it was on display tonight. A lot of different guys came in and made an impact. So many different pieces that Roy Williams has to work with, really all over the court, back court, front court, everywhere. You've got players who can do different skills, do different things, contribute in different ways. Tar is able to get a lot of contributions off the bench. Dayron Sharp gets a double-double in his very first game as a Tar Heel. He's just the fourth player ever to do that in his first game. And then Carolina kind of feeling a little guilty. They just throw Walter Kessler, Walker Kessler in there, and he looked great. So College of Charleston probably sitting over there going, where do we go get one of those seven-foot guys that we just bring in off the bench in the second half? A lot of different options the Tar Heels have. That's going to continue to evolve as the year goes along, of course, as well. 
We, we know how important rebounding is to Coach Williams, to Carolina basketball. It was stunning to see College of Charleston, even with Carolina in the rebounding total at halftime, that changed in half number two. It was 18 to 18 at, at the break, and I'm guessing that was a point of emphasis for Roy Williams with his team in the locker room. They really continued to not do a great job the first couple minutes of the second half as Charleston got onto the offensive backboards and was able to get some points that way, but then Carolina really locked it down after that. Garrison Brooks led the Tar Heels with 11 rebounds, and really everyone did a pretty good job of getting to the glass, and that also generated some offense during a time when Carolina wasn't making some shots. So the Tar Heels, I think defensively, Adam, this was really an up-and-down performance from Carolina on the defensive side. There were some moments where Carolina looked really good. There was also a stretch where Charleston was shooting above 70% for a long period of time um, in this game. But the defensive pressure in the second half in particular felt important in this win. And I think you come away from this game feeling better about the defensive potential than maybe the actual defensive performance. Carolina did have 10 steals, which is pretty good. But I think you look at the backcourt combination of Caleb Love and R.J. Davis, you pair that with the variety of big men who are defending the rim and hopefully getting even better at preventing opposing guards from driving in. And then the depth that we already talked about. You're always going to have fresh bodies out there think this has a chance to be a pretty good defensive Carolina team. Right, that ability to protect the rim is something that some of the best Carolina teams have been able to do. And with Kessler and Sharp and Brooks and Baycott, you have some big bodies down there. And as you saw in that highlight package, had some opportunity to erase some shots around, around the rim area. Nine blocks for yeah. the Tar Heels. Thanks again for being here today. We'll be back next weekend, and boy, do we have a busy show again next weekend. There's going to be three basketball games to talk about as the Tar Heels are playing in the Maui Invitational, which is actually taking place in Asheville. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the Heels have their final home football game of the season hosting Western Carolina. So we'll have highlights and a reaction to all of those things next week on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield IMG College.